just two buff <laughs> people just checking on his heart. <laughs> Check the old ticker. <laughs> This 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 test what it does, beautiful looks good. This test what it does. It doesn't show blockages. It just shows. That we're looking at the inside of your heart now, okay? So this is just a cut from the inside, okay? okay. This is an echocardiogram. We're looking at it's an ultrasound of his heart. So what we're looking at here on this view, it's kind of a cut from the inside. So we're looking at mitral valve, aortic valve. This is a part of his left ventricle, aorta left atrium, that's our receiving chamber. We can see the squeeze of the left ventricle. Perfect, so now I'm gonna do some measurements here. So I'm gonna measure this chamber, that's the right ventricle. All right, so left ventricle, is that what's it's enlarged in athletes? Uh, usually, yeah, with you it's a normal range. Okay. So for now you're in normal range, your function looks very good. So guys, don't be afraid of Stairmaster. <laughs> that's what that means huh? so let's see here I'm going to look a little bit up here this is the ascending aorta that's the blood vessel that takes the blood up to the brain and to the rest of the body and we're going to measure that too everything looks in good range looks really good normal range hey but D tell me if something don't look right everything looks perfect hey look at that all look these that colors wild. yeah so these colors show direction of blood flow. This is a form of Doppler, color Doppler. Okay, and we're looking at the flow from here to here. And every time the ventricle pumps, it goes from here to here. Looks very, very normal. There's no regurgitation. Hey, it's Hurricane Bart right there. It? <laughs> it's like Hurricane in there. Here's another valve. This one's on the right side of your heart. That's tricuspid valve. And we're going to see the flow through this valve. Looks really, really good, very normal. I can put the sound on if you want. This is Doppler. And now, that just sounds what the blood flow sounds like inside. So I'm going to do a little bit up here. This is the fourth valve. We saw three valves. There are four valves in the heart. This is pulmonic valve. <clears throat> that valve sends the blood to the lungs. So we can see the flow there. How's that look? Perfect. So is that, you can listen to different valves? Yeah, yeah. We doppler them and uh, we see the flow th through each valve. You know, but the sound of them is really, that's not what matters. What matters is we look at the flow, the color flow, right. the direction, all that. Okay. I got a so, question for you yeah. while, while you're in there. Sure. How would you know if I had a arrhythmia or something? Would you be able to tell from this, t from one so, of these tests? So, two things. Um, you see how you're beating normally, consistent, yeah. normal, three, four. That's one. I can see it, you know, visually. Okay. The other thing is you have an EKG down here. Okay. Every one of those... See those Vs? Yeah. Those are called QRSs. That each one of those is a contraction of the ventricle. And because they're spaced out normally, yeah. see they're spaced out evenly, uh -huh. that means you're in, you're in rhythm. Okay. Now this is not a very full complete EKG, right. but because of that and because of what I'm seeing here, you're in rhythm. Okay. So you're in what we so call normal that, sinus Is rhythm. that similar to like these iPhone watches that have ECG in it? Kind right? of, yeah, yeah. It's a basic ECG app, okay. similar. A, a real EKG is when they put like 12 stickers on you. It's called a 12 lead EKG, mm -hmm. and that records a lot more arrhythmias, different ones. So. Yeah, I had a friend that uh, his eye watch let him know that he was having something weird going on. Yeah. You know, some type of arrhythmia. Yeah. And his heart rate was getting high, and it notified him oh yeah and yeah. he went to he went to the hospital yeah he, he's good it depends now, what they, it depends they gave if him it's like a beta blocker or something to control his heart rate a little bit yeah it, so now we're looking at your aortic valve see one two three leaflets i'm looking at one two three leaflets here it's a normal valve and here we can see the pulmonic valve again and we see the branches of the pulmonary artery this is the pulmonary artery this one goes to the Right lung, this one goes to the left lung. So we put the color, we can see the flow there, right there. 
it's kind of a weird view. It's not, you're not really seeing the entire heart. Again, it's just a cut from the top. So if you put the camera on his chest, you can see that we're not, you know, we're just kind of cutting the heart from here. So we're not really seeing the entire heart yet. The next image I'm gonna go to will show all four chambers. So, so hey. far everything looks perfectly hey, normal. you've done this a couple times, haven't you? <laughs> About uh, six, 16 years old. <laughs> yeah, daddy. Wow. Yeah. So. Hey, I like that sound of this. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> so with people that work out, let me show you something. Something to note, people that work out. Guys, if y'all couldn't tell, a D's built. No, like I'm not. Not anymore. I'm, I shrunk. Don't don't pay attention. To craft me. house over here. <laughs> hey, he is. So, when you look at this muscle here, okay, <clears throat> this is the muscle right here. This is called the the septum between the both ventricles, both of the ventricles. This muscle gets a little thicker. Excuse my voice. <clears throat> this muscle gets very thick. The you know with people that lift heavy weights, not not cardio. Hey, get your, get your little you're good. <laughs> no, it's you put um, on an epic production so far. You're funny. <laughs> so this muscle gets a little bit thick as we, you know, with people that lift weights, you know, not necessarily cardio workouts. With people that lift heavy weights, that muscle gets usually thicker. So it's a so, normal. So you can measure that. Yes. So a normal measurement for a normal heart, not somebody that works out. I'm gonna. There it is. So we measure it from right here to here. It's 1.3 with you. Normal is 1.2. 1.3 so 1. 1. centimeters. centimeters. Is That's about a half an inch. It's exactly half an inch. Because 2.5 centimeters is one inch. And in what are we measuring there? What's the name of it? That's the intraventricular septum. That's what it stands for. Intraventricular septum. septum. Yeah. Okay. It's half an inch, baby. Big. So 1.2 is normal, 1.1, 1.2. So 1.3 is? Yours is 1.3. Now okay. I've seen him go up to 1. Point, mine is like 1.7. It's okay. just that mine is just genetically like that. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go to your side. Now we're going to see the entire heart. So I'm going to lean you a little back. Okay. Right like that is good. And let's see here. I'm going to go right there. You're good. Right over here. Perfect. So. I'm gonna have you do something here. Okay. Take a deep breath, hold it just for a second. Deep breath, hold it in. Okay, and let it out. Just breathe out. So breathe normal, just breathe normal. I'm gonna lean you a little back. Lean back a little bit. There you go, perfect. I'm gonna go a little bit up between those two ribs. Just breathe normal, breathe normal. I'm gonna go a little bit up here, okay? Breathe normal, breathe normal, breathe normal. There it is, perfect. So now, I was, I was being shallow. No, no, no. So what happened is your lungs are above your heart, okay? Air and ultrasound, you know, don't work well, okay? When you take a deep breath, take a deep breath. See what happened? The picture disappears, okay? Because wow. what happened is your lungs fill with air. They cover the heart. Let it out. Here it is. Wow. You see the difference? Yeah. So now we're seeing the entire heart, okay? Beautiful function. See how well it squeezes? This is your left ventricle. This is the main pumping chamber, okay? That's the muscle I just showed you, the ventricular septum, the IVS, right? We just measured it. It's between the two ventricles, okay? Yeah. The heavier, you know, you lift the, during the years, that muscle gets thicker. That you can control with medicine, by the way, with blood pressure medicine, usually. You uh, can, what's that called again? The ventricular septum. Okay. Okay, you can control that muscle size usually in a well you know lifestyle but there are medicines some drugs that can help it like uh, ace inhibitors okay they can help re reduce the size of that si that muscle you know so what does an ace inhibitor do it reduces blood pressure okay. usually and it remodels the heart so when you have high blood pressure that wall thickens because it is getting extra work it, exactly so when the right. muscle is more th it's a stronger pump it's yeah. a thicker muscle right yeah it pushes the blood a lot stronger right so my blood pressure last night was 120 over 65. no it's good that's good right you check it first thing in the morning and last thing at night okay yeah because it's very dependent on blood volume not okay. just uh, muscle function okay so the picture is upside down this is the bottom of your heart okay so what happened is this muscle pumps the blood to the body through this valve, okay? okay. The body uses the blood, okay? It recycles, you know, recycles the blood. It brings it back to this chamber, the right side of the heart. This is the left side of the heart, okay? 
Wow. So it comes back to this side. This is the right side of the heart, okay? It goes from here through this valve to here. This chamber pumps the blood to the lungs, okay? The, the lungs reoxygenate the blood, okay? They bring it back to this chamber, okay? And then it goes back to this chamber and it goes on and on and on until we're dead. Hmm. Until we're 90 or 100 <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> so, hey guys, if y'all didn't know this, I met a D at the gym one day, next to him on the Stairmaster. And I looked, and I was doing about level seven for an hour. I looked over and he's about a level 11, just smoking me. And I was like, man, if you can't respect that, then I don't know who you are. <laughs> so we, you know, he asked me, as he's climbing these stairs like a madman, asked me how my heart was. And I was like, well, good, I guess. He's like, you don't know? I was like, I don't guess so. I haven't had anything done. And uh, so I had, had my first echocardiogram with him a yeah. while back. Yeah, it looks very, very good. And you're in good rhythm too. See, every time the blood goes in, this every time this pumps, the blood goes up through this valve. So we can see it with the colors here. Okay, so blood goes in, blood goes out. Wow. Yeah, it looks really good. Very, very good. <laughs> she's got to dance in the heartbeat. <laughs> hey, she's seen my whole heart I think yeah. she's in love even more. Uh -huh. There you go. Oh, that is my ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So now we're going to look at the right side of your heart. That's the right ventricle. So for people that have bad, bad, untreated sleep apnea, untreated, this chamber usually here gets very enlarged, usually over time. So how does mine look? It looks very normal. Okay, looks because good. I've been on the CPAP for no, it looks good. a few months now. No, and, it looks good. And yeah. won't sleep without it. No, it's thank God that you yeah. want it. Yeah, that oh, helps my, it's next level so, game changer. So sleep apnea prevent, you know, sleep apnea causes a lot of heart problems. A lot and, of, and what part of the heart? The right, right, right ventricle. Right ventricle. Yeah. That's what pumps the blood to the lungs. Yeah, because you're not breathing at night. And what happened is the, the right ventricle pumps the blood to the lungs. And, you know, you're, it, it's working overtime to, you know, to pump the blood. I'm going to watch this on YouTube like five times in a row just to hear all this. There's so <laughs> much knowledge being spoke. I'm glad that mm -hmm. you're with us uh, no, record it. No, no Thank you. No, of course. Uh, my dad used to make me record the doctor, the orthopedic surgeon. He's like, er, record. Well, what'd he say? I was like, I... I oh, mean, they smart. said that was this. Yeah, or, smart, you know. very smart, because they talk yeah. a lot, a lot yeah. of uh, important stuff yeah. that you want to remember. Right? Mm -hmm. You understand it then, and then you're trying to remember what you say then, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So definitely, yeah. So again, we're measuring this chamber here again. We just measure the volume. This is the receiving chamber. Wow. So just one more. We're basically looking at the same exact things, just from different angles, okay? The way his ventricle is squeezing, very, very normal. Everything looks really good here. Perfect function. The valves look perfect. Nothing leaks, no regurgitation. And I'm gonna do one more, a couple of quick other measurements here in a second. So stay like that. So we'll do this. A little rotation here, just relax. Do this oh my angle. Gosh, we're looking at the left ventricle just from different angles. So one more picture here. Perfect. And one last picture here. Now, oh, what is that? So that's a 3D image. We're looking at the valve from the top in 3D. This is your mitral valve. I'm looking at it right from the top in 3D. Wow. Okay. Perfect. So. I want to have you do one more thing. I want to have you lay, let just lay back on your back. You got two more pictures and we'll Perfect. Wow. Hey, this is wild, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to look at your heart from down here now. Okay. The reason we look at it from here, we want to make sure there's no fluid around. Okay. So I'm going to go right about there. Perfect. Right Does that need vacuum? No, no. <laughs> actually, do that again. Yeah, it actually brings it a better image. So, perfect, you can breathe, just breathe, you're fine, you're okay, you're okay, perfect. So there's no, we're looking at his heart from the bottom. 
Okay, we're just angling up. We don't see any fluid around. If there was, we would see like a dark space right around it. Okay, and we'll do a couple of more things here. So we gotta make sure there's no abnormal flows between that small membrane there. Perfect, right about there. This blood vessel here brings the blood back from the lower body, brings it back to the heart from the lower body. Now, I'm gonna have you do something. Do this, a long sniff with your nose. Yeah, and breathe, okay, okay. Now let's, when I ask you to do it again, you'll, you'll, you'll show it, okay? So go ahead, sniff again. And you see how it collapses and breathe? Breathe normal and it opens back up, that's good. So that shows that there's normal pressures. If you had like a very high, let's say your blood was backing up to your legs, what we call edema, you mm -hmm. know, when fluid goes back to your legs. I've had it before. So yeah. that thing would not collapse if you would have done this. It's called a sniff test, okay? What's it called? A sniff test. Sniff? Yeah. Like smell? Okay, yeah. So what you do, you just kind of, you breathe in because veins collapse when you breathe. When you take, take a breathe, when you breathe in, your veins collapse and that's how they bring the blood back to the heart. Wow. Yeah. So. By the way, everything I just said, I made up. No, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just they, just they've, been re, they've been rewinding their <laughs> right. So the last image we'll look at, and this is your aorta, okay? So if the heart is down here, the aorta brings up the blood. That's the main blood vessel we saw in the beginning. So it brings the blood up to the brain through these vessels, and then it descends down to the body. This is the descending aorta. So we can see the flow coming up from the heart up here, okay? And then we're gonna look at it down on this here, right here, perfect. And we're also gonna Doppler this region there to make sure the flow is normal. And that's it. And we're gonna do a one last couple of quick measurements here. Hey, hey what if this last test isn't good? Are you this? Gonna tell me? Oh, dude, of course I would tell you. <laughs> you know, this is not an official uh, echo again, you know, it's yeah. not, nobody's... This is, this is his interpretation of, yeah. of my body knowing me for a long his time. Heart. Yeah, his and, heart, not everything else. Yeah. So, let's see here. So, I'm going to do a couple of quick measurements here. So, we're going to do what we call a strain analysis, okay? So, the first thing we do, we look at your left ventricle in three different angles. But what I was saying, you, you know bodybuilders and the, the amount of tension and, oh, and yeah. working out their heart daily oh yeah you know that you know you could probably notice something so on a bodybuilder the main that, thing that a yeah. lot of non-bodybuilder the main thing with bodybuilders know, you know and this test you know really there's not much with this test and bodybuilders unless you had a heart attack i can see damage or very high blood pressure but that's that's prevalent in bodybuilding is high blood pressure, wouldn't you think? Yeah, that's one thing. Now, if you had like coronary artery disease, which is very common in bodybuilding, bodybuilders that use anabolics, you know, that's the number one um, issue with bodybuilding today, unfortunately. Uh, all those issues that we see lately are either a heart attack, you know, usually that's related to, you know, steroid use that's with a history, a strong history of family, you know, um, history of family disease, you know, right. heart disease. Heart disease and stuff. Yeah. So my grandpa died at uh, 60 from a heart attack, but that's the only thing. That... How about your parents? No, my parents are good. Okay, then you're yeah. fine. You know, lower than you're not, you know, usually in that risk. I mean, you know, maybe some hereditary cholesterol stuff, you know. Which and that's, that's something to watch for, because that's what yeah. causes blockages. We don't see blockages in this test. That's what I was trying to get. Yeah. So, so this is the the function of the heart, the structure, the, function, valves, right. stuff like that. Usually we don't see, we do not see blockages with this test because yeah. blockages you can only see in the cath lab. When you're talking about blockages, you're talking about the veins that supply this muscle here. Okay. And they're inside those veins. Okay, gotcha. And they're tiny, you can't see it here. Wow. Yeah. Perfect. So this That's is when you have to use like dye and stuff, right? Exactly, and they take an x-ray, yeah. yeah. Right. Why would you do that? So. Strain analysis looks really normal with you. You know, it just takes every segment of the muscle and it kind of analyzes it. I'm not gonna complicate you too much. It right. looks very, very normal, okay? The right. next thing we're gonna do is we, you know, but 
everybody knows about an echo, the main thing is ejection fraction. Not the yeah. main thing, one of the important I've things. I've heard ejection fraction mentioned a lot more. Yeah, nowadays. so what ejection fraction is, is basically how much percentage of blood is being pumped out of the, blood, the heart with every beat. And we're talking about this, the left ventricle, this chamber. Okay. His images are beautiful, textbook, so we can calculate it with 3D, which is the golden standard. So what I'll do... Hey, look at that. Yeah, let's see hey, it right she, there. Hey, she raised her eyebrows on that. Dang, <laughs> I got a gold standard over here. Oh, I got beautiful <laughs> pictures, man. Not everybody images on this. She said she got, you know... Yeah. Let's see here. So we measure the heart when it's full, okay? Mm -hmm. So we measure the area of the ventricle when it's full, before the blood is being pumped. Mm -hmm. Then we measure it when it's empty. After all the blood is being pumped out, we measure it out again, okay? And the difference divided by 100 is the percentage. It's called ejection fraction. And the machine calculates all that. We can see this. EF stands for ejection what by, sorry, 55. Normal is 52 and over. Okay, so if you- So have, is that at the low end of normal or is it- No, 55, no. you're over normal. 50, okay. 52 okay. is normal. Okay. So this is a 3D model of your left ventricle. I just looked at your left ventricle. We can see it in 3D. I can look at it at any angle I want. See it? What I did is yeah. I, just, you know, that's your left ventricle in 3D. Yeah. Very normal looking. Wow. Mm -hmm. So all those measurements and numbers is what you're calculating to pull up these? Yes, so they're right up there. See, this is all the report, all these numbers, everything here. All the Doppler measurements, all the flow, all wow. the size. How much blood being pumped? 80 beats per minute. That's what I calculated last night. So is that what you had? Yeah. yeah. This is so your ejection that, fraction. Does that need to be a little lower or is 80? No, 60 to 100 is normal. Okay. But you would think that as much cardio that I do, my, it would drive my wrist and heart rate down a little bit. Is that maybe caffeine or something? Caffeine Probably. is one thing. Blood volume is another thing. And, you know, hydration, dehydration. Okay. Status, stuff like that. So... He told me I need to hydrate, guys. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna start doing the gallon chugs again. Just kidding, just kidding. Did you ever see those? Where I was doing the, the gallon chug challenges uh -uh, to right. stretch my stomach for the competitive eating. Oh, I got down to drinking a gallon in 33 seconds. I don't know how you do that, man. That's yeah, in, in 33 a, seconds. A whole gallon, 33 seconds. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, you bring a tear to a glass eye. That is insane. <laughs>